Shalom. In this week's parasha, this week's portion in Sefer Bamidbar, we hear a story. The Knainite, the king of Arad, who heard the people of Israel are coming towards him, and he goes out to war. He attacked Israel and captured some of them. Interestingly, Chazal, our sages, tell us that although it says he captured some of them, he actually only captured one of them. One woman slave. That's it. And one should ask, why does Chazal make that interpretation? It seems to me that what Chazal are trying to do is to create an analogy to another story. A story in the book of Exodus in Sefer Shemot, where we hear about the war of Amalek. The war that Amalekim come and attack the people of Israel. But the book of Dvarim, of Deuteronomy, says that the attack wasn't against the people of Israel, but rather against the weak link of Israel. It attacked the weakest link of Israel. And Chazal are creating an analogy that this war to the king of Arad, the Knaimit, the king of Arad, attacks the weak link of Israel, the weakest person there, a woman slave. But if we look at the war, and here Chazal are telling us to make an analogy, let's hear the rest of the story of the Amalek. The war against Amalek, what if the people of Israel do when Amalek attacks their weak link? The answer is absolutely nothing. Until Moshe Rabbeinu, Moses, comes and prompts them and says, Joshua, Yoshua, go collect some people and go fight. It seems that until that happened, until Moshe actually prompted them, everyone was awestruck. They did nothing. And then Yoshua does, indeed does, collects and the, the men and goes to fight. And Moses tells him, wait one second, uh, tomorrow I will go up the mountain and I will lead the war. How does Moshe lead the war from the top of the mountain? When he, the Torah says, when he raises his hands, the people of Israel win. When he lowers his hands, they lose. It means although the actual war is happening in the valley below, the real war is a spiritual war happening on the mountain above. Moshe Rabbeinu not only prompts the people to go to war, he's actually running the battle. That's a story in Exodus, in Sefer Shmot, against Amalek. When you turn to the book of Numbers, this book, Sefer Bamidbar, to Ar Parasha, the story is totally different. They're attacked. The weak link is attacked, just in the same way, same manner. And here it says, Then Israel made this vow to the Lord. I will deliver these people, if you deliver these people into our hands, we will totally destroy their cities. Israel and the Lord heard, listened to Israel's plea and gave them the Knanis over to them. Moshe Rabbeinu is not in this story. Moses does nothing. He doesn't prompt them to go to war. He's not running the spiritual side or the physical side. He's not doing anything. He doesn't appear in the story. Everything is done by the people of Israel. They first turn to God for help. They pray. They make a plea and a bargain, a pledge. And then they go to war. And God, and this is a beautiful pasuk, a beautiful verse, Vaishma Adonai Bekol Israel, God listened to the people of Israel, and God helped them win the war. In this story, you see the story of a people maturing. They're no longer dependent on their leader for prompting them to go to war. They're not even dependent on their leader to create a spiritual backing for the war. They do everything. They run the spiritual side and the physical side. The people who are ready to fight their wars are the people ready to go into the land of Israel. Sadly, 3,000 years later, we find ourselves in the land of Israel in the same predicament. The worst of our enemies again attack our weak link. They take children. They capture three innocent children with no way of defending themselves just because they're attacking our weak link. And Am Yisrael, the people of Israel, this today, like they did 3,000 years ago, went to battle through spirituality as well. The idea of Sahal goes and fights trying to find and locate these kids. In parallel, the family, the friends, the community at large are creating a vibe of spirituality, of prayer, turning to God, begging Him, please help us find these kids. Our prayer is that today, like 3,000 years ago, Vayishma Adonai Bekol Yisrael, God will hear our plea, and like then, they won the war against the Canaanites. Today we'll win our war and bring the children back home. 
and may Gilad, Naftali, and Iyal be brought back to their homes safely, both in spirit and in body, and Am Yisrael will rejoice in their coming. Shabbat Shalom.